So today I'm at RE Plus in Las Vegas. I am at the Canadian Solar Booth and they've just got, or they're gonna be releasing a new EP Cube system. This is their 2.0 and they have made a ton of improvements. Let's check it out. So if you guys watch my channel for a while, you know I have the original EP Cube system and they have changed this quite a bit. So the gateway, we'll first go over it. There's a lot of components, but they've completely changed the gateway. So one thing is, they have actually made the door hinged. And on the inside here, it's completely changed. Let's see if I take this out. All right, we're gonna go ahead and remove the panel here. But this is completely changed from last time. So let me just walk you through this right here. So we're gonna have 200 amp service is gonna come in here. And then this is your automatic transfer switch, your disconnect for when the power goes out. And then down here you actually have, this is new, it has 125 amp non-backed up loads. So if you want a breaker panel that you don't want battery backed up, you can wire it up to here. Otherwise, your 200 amp service will go right through out to your normal breaker panel. And then right here is the bus where you plug in your breakers. Now the breakers that you can plug in here are gonna be for the inverters. So you can stack up to I think like three inverters on here. And then you can also use smart breakers as well. So they have these Eaton smart breakers that you can put on here. They are controlled through the Wi-Fi, and then you can use those breakers to be able to turn loads on and off based off of state of charge. You can also schedule the loads. You can put like a time in there and you can have the loads turn on and off based off a of time schedule. And then you could also, I think you can also turn them off based off of whether the grid is on or off. So if the power goes off, you might be able to turn them off. Not 100% sure on that, but you do have programmable Eaton breakers that you can put in here that are controlled by Wi-Fi. Now, apparently the, the cool thing about it is if you have a br br uh, Eaton breaker panel that is compatible with that Eaton breaker, you can actually take one of those breakers and put it in your breaker panel in the EP Cube system through the Wi-Fi can turn loads on and off in your panel through those Eaton smart breakers, which is just a huge uh, ability to be able to control loads, especially during a power outage when you're running off of batteries. Now, now just to look at this system, the previous box of the gateway was plastic. This is actually metal. It has knockouts in the bottom, has knockouts in the back, which is new, knockouts on the side. And then, probably won't be able to tell it, it mounts directly to the wall. It used to have some kind of brackets you had to mount. This just dr mounts directly to the wall. Now on this system, you can also install a 200 amp main breaker right here, so that you have a 200 amp disconnect built into here. It's just an option, so you can either have the disconnect or not, but that at least gives you that ability if you want to have it. And they also have a new HMI, so that you can monitor the system mount this on a wall and you can see the EP Cube system and, and see how it is doing. Before you always had to have your phone and be able to use an app on your phone. You can still use an app on your phone, but they also have a screen dedicated for you to be able to look at the status of the system. So right here is the new EP Cube 2.0 inverter. Now the big change to this is they have increased the output power. So instead of 7.6 kilowatt of output, it now has 11 and a half kilowatts of output. So it's a more powerful inverter. And then it used to have four MPPTs. Now it has a total of six MPPTs on here. And you can see on the side, we got two disconnects here for the MPPTs. And you got a total of, um, it says they can do a maximum of 24,000 watts of solar can be wired to the new 2.0 EPQ. There's a lot of improvements on here that's kind of a little bit hard to show but one of them was the conduit entries. I had two of them, they're only three quarter inch. They've improved that. We've now have three conduit entries and they look like they're inch, inch, and maybe inch and a quarter right there. They're, they're definitely bigger and now there's three conduit entries into the inverter. The way it mounts on the wall is different. So now you just have one bracket that mounts on the wall and then you mount the inverter on it. And of course, for the batteries, they stack up like this. So you still have a base plate. The batteries stack up they don't have brackets on the batteries no more. Before you had a bracket, a wall bracket for each battery. Now you don't have that anymore. So the, the installation will definitely be easier. Uh, and then another the thing that's a huge improvement, especially to me, is the amount of battery storage that you can use. So before you could only have 20 kilowatt hours worth of battery on a single inverter. 
If you wanted more battery, you had to add another inverter. Well, now they've changed that. So they've added a base plate down here. You see it's a double base plate. So now you've got a stack of batteries here. Here's your inverter. And then you have more batteries over there. So now you can end up with 40 kilowatt hours worth of storage on the EP Cube 2.0. And the batteries themselves have actually changed. Before each battery was like 3.3 kilowatt hours. Now they are five kilowatt hours each. They're a higher voltage. This is a high voltage system as well. Uh, I think each one of these batteries is somewhere around 50 volts. Of course, that all adds up. And that makes it, I wanna say, you can use small, smaller wire with the high voltage batteries. You don't pull as many amps from the batteries when you're trying to produce power. It's a, uh, the way the industry seems to be going is to more of a high battery voltage system, and that's what, what this is. But overall, the EP Cube 2.0, this has got a, a lot of improvements over the last one, the, the original one that I have at my place. So I, I, I could name off probably like 30 different improvements to this thing. They have made a ton of changes that, that are in the on the good side, that is for sure. I really don't see anything on the bad side here. So definitely a brand new system. I don't know if it's necessarily out onto the market for sale yet. I don't think you're gonna see this. Uh, like they're just starting their first installations with it, but you'll probably see more of this in the upcoming year. And if 11 and a half kilowatts of output with 40 kilowatt hours of battery is not enough for you, you can, I think, stack up to three of these, which puts you somewhere over 30 kilowatts of output, 120 kilowatt hours of storage that is massive and uh, yeah if you can still scale the system up and build it exactly the way you want it so there you have it the brand new ep cube 2.0 system and uh, yeah i'd be looking for this to be more available next year sometime